Welcome everyone. I'm going to show you a great feature of the new Microsoft LTI in Canvas that allows you to embed Word, Excel, or PowerPoint files in Canvas. Now this will not create an assignment. If you're interested in that process, check out my other video that will walk you through the steps. What this does is allows you to place the document so that students can see that. And let's take a look at how to complete that operation. First of all, you need to make sure that you have the document saved in OneDrive. So you can see right here, I have a file saved in OneDrive. This file is the organizational chart for my student podcast and what jobs the students will have for the month. So let's say that I want to place that into Canvas. I'm going to go over to Canvas. Now in this case, I'm going to place it in a page. However, you can place this in any Canvas resource that has the rich content editor. So discussions, assignments, any place you find the rich content editor, you can, you can embed your document. I'm going to select the down arrow right here next to the plugin and I'm going to select Microsoft OneDrive right here, Microsoft OneDrive. And it will take just a moment for that to load. And once it does, I will see all of my files. I will then need to locate the file that I want to attach. In this case, it's down near the bottom. So I'm going to scroll down there and I'm going to find that uh, organizational chart. And then I have the option embed or link. I want to embed so students can see the content. If I hit link, they're just going to have the, have the link. They would have to click on that to navigate to the file itself. It does take just a moment for that to upload. Once the process is complete, you'll be taken back to Canvas. And from here, you will see that the file loads and students will be able to see a preview of that file. Now, do notice that in this case, the file does not take up the entire screen. If I want to do that, you could embark on this little bit more advanced operation and you can hit the brackets down here and you can edit the HTML. So you change the height and the width. So maybe I want the width to be 1000 because that is a landscape and maybe I want the height to be 900. And then I'm going to go back to the actual um, live view as opposed to the HTML view. It will take just a moment for that to upload. And now obviously see, I'm going to have a much larger organizational chart there that all the students will be able to see. And when I'm done, of course, I can click save and that item will be saved. At that point, you could place it into a module if you wanted to. Uh, so that it would be easiest for students to navigate and to find that. So you can see there's my module right there. If you really wanted to explore, you could go into student view. Just be aware that when you go into student view, it may ask you for your account again, and you may get a duplicate copy of the file because you will then be acting as a student with the same account that you created the original file as a teacher. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.